Hey, Coach, thanks for, thanks for uh, joining me uh, on this video. So we've been talking a lot about uh, uh, comparing, you know, a conservative approach with a wide open approach. And, you know, let me first say this, you know, you could be conservative and score a ton of points because you're going to come out of the box, you're going to be executing, you're going to score early, you're going to score often. Now, if you want to pound a rock, you better have it, you better bring your defense. You know, you start, if you could run the ball and play defense, then you're off to a good start, okay? I mean, you're off to a great start. And you could take that, you could take that formula anywhere, big games, any kind of weather, you know, on the road, it don't matter. That's a great formula. Pound the rock, play defense, okay? Um, but that doesn't mean it's, uh, they, people talk about, you know, three yards in a cloud of dust and uh, cloud of dust and like it's boring and, and if it's not ineffective, now they might not like it in the stands, you know, but you know, this idea of getting three yards every play and getting first downs and trying to win championships, that's against teams that probably by all rights, they should beat you. Okay, that's that's your floor right there. That's what you're shooting for anyways, is to be able to win those kind of games when you need to. Okay, if you're playing somebody else, I mean, you're getting, you're averaging seven, eight, nine yards a carry, you're just rolling them. And then once you start rolling them, you could do anything you want to. You wanna, you know, you always wanna be selling tickets. Okay, so if you're conservative and, you know, especially where we're at, everybody, you know, I don't know if it was the, because of the Niners, you know, uh, back in, you know, Bill Walsh era. And so they think, you know, if you're not, if you're not passing the ball, then you're dumb. You know, that's just how they think. So if you need to fight against that kind of mentality, then, you know, maybe you want to kind of mix it up and, and, and get a little razzle dazzle when on games that that's easy to you. Um, that makes sense. You know, uh, we're always trying to sell tickets and, you know, protect our job and stuff, but main thing is you got to win. You know, you don't, you don't, you don't win, you're in trouble. You don't win, you're in trouble. So, uh, you know, people in the stands might not like the idea of conservative football, but I'll tell you right now, it works and you can score, still score a ton of points. And then I think, I think players are more exciting than plays. Okay. So if you got in the last, last, uh, at the end of my career, I was, you know, fortunate enough to get some guys with some more speed. And so we're still running the same plays but now instead of getting, you know, you know, five to 10 yards, we're getting, we're getting 20 to 50. Okay. And that's exciting to people, you know, so players, not plays are, are is what's exciting. So I understand that, you know, if you're just getting three yards of cloud of dust, you're kind of in a, in a pile, you're pushing forward and stuff. And, uh, and then you're just trying to get first downs and control the clock and, you know, ball control. I can understand that people, they might not like that. I like that. I just want, I'm just trying to win a game. Uh, I like that. That's not, that's not boring to me. The, 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 the guts of a, the guts of a run play to me is exciting. And uh, when it all comes into, into uh, when, you know, when you spend time into it. And uh, now, hey, Americans know football. That's one thing. I don't care if, if it's, you know, a nine-year-old cheerleader. She knows football. That's our sport. We know football. People know, Americans know football. I'm not going to take that away from anybody just because they're in the stands or whatever. But not everybody has, has put the time in to coach football. And these plays take... Uh, it's a little bit harder to get kids to execute a play than they might than they might think is uh, is the case. So um, so anyways, anyways, if you if you run conservative football, you know, three yards in a cloud of dust, they might not like it, but it's effective. It wins games and it can be exciting. It just depends on who you're playing. You know, it just depends on who you're playing. So if it's a if it's a, if I go if we go wide open and lose by thirty. And you want you rather have that than uh, be conservative and win by three, you know? No, but it may be another game where you're you're a little bit better than the team you're playing. You know, you can mix it up and stuff, be exciting or whatever like that. So you know, play that game like that. But uh, I'm just gonna say right here, you know, and I and I wrap it up. But there's a cost to everything. Is you know, people don't want to hear about conservative football, but you know, when you when you take chances, bad things can happen, and you know, if it works out for you, that's great. It works out. You take a chance and it works out for you. That's great. But if it don't, it's going to be on you. It's going to be on you. And the number one thing we got to do, and we're coaching our team, is teach them not to lose. Teach them how not to lose. Okay, we don't want to give the game away. As a Casey Stengel said, you know, more games are lost than are won. And that's the truth. If you just, if you, if you don't take, if you don't give the game away, you play solid, you put yourself in a really good position. Okay. More games are lost than are won. It's due to the team that screws up, fumbles. How many times do you hear this? Oh, we, you know, we would have won if we didn't have, we didn't have fumbled or we wouldn't have thrown an interception or whatever like that. I've seen so many times where a team is just 
running the ball, they're doing well, and they just feel like a compulsion to pass. They have to pass, and what happens? They get off schedule, they gotta take a chance now, it goes wrong, they gotta punt. Or worse, there's a you know, throw into a they throw a pick or something like that. Those are game changing type plays. You know, if you're if you're super wide open, you're gonna live with some of those things. Um, I don't like living like that. I, I really don't. But if you play a little bit more solid, you just don't want to make mistakes and shoot yourself in the foot. Those things have, you know, dire consequences. So, uh, you know, so it's not it's not sexy to 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 promote conservative football, but conservative football is winning football. And when it, and it's not always a low scoring game. It's not always three yards in a cloud of dust. You can score a lot of points. Look at De La Salle. They've been running the same play since 80, 1980. Or whenever you know Coach Lattice put that in, you know late late seventies, early eighties, and they just run the veer and they score a ton of points. Well, they got good athletes and they coach it well and stuff. But you're getting big plays. Those run plays t- can turn into big plays. They can turn into big plays, and there's nothing nothing more exciting to watch a good runner, you know, carve up a defense. It's just it's just fun. And um, anyways, so conservative football, there's a lot of benefits to it. Uh, it doesn't, it, it can be, it can be exciting. You know, if you have good athletes, you can score a ton of points. Even if you don't have great athletes, you can score a ton of points because you're going to be scoring consistently. All right. And if you play good defense behind it, you're going to get the ball back. You're going to have the ball the whole game and you're going to score most of the time and you're not going to do anything stupid. And you're going to end up scoring a bunch of points, 30, 40, 50 points. You score 50 points and never throw a single pass. Okay. It, I mean, guys are doing it all over the country, okay? And it's, I know it just doesn't make everybody happy in the stands all the time. That's just the way it goes, okay? If you want to sell some tickets, you know, take your time, you know, take your, uh, pick your spots to sell some tickets. I understand that. I do the same thing. But if you want to win the game, this is just me. You might disagree, okay? But I'm trying to talk to the people that we have, we're like-minded. Let, let passing guys go to uh, somewhere else. You know, for us, Pound a rock, play good defense, win games, win games. And you can build off that. You can branch out off that. Anyways, anyways, that's my little, I'll get off my soapbox. Conservative football has been good to us, and uh, we enjoy it, and it's fun. We know what's going on behind the, behind these scenes, and all the work the kids put into it, and all the details. They might not they might not be able to see it from the stands, but it's just fun. It's just fun. And then you get into a, a game where, you're, you know, they, they've been writing – writing about a team all over the papers and they're, you know, they're the pretty boys and they're flashy and they, they got all these stats and stuff like that. And you take them into the trenches in a big game in the dark night. And it's, Hey, it feels good, man. It feels good. So anyways, all right, coach, thanks for taking, uh, spending time uh, with us on this video and uh, see you in the next one. All right.